what was really um, very positive uh, was to feel that with such a diverse panel of people that have such a, a wide diversity of uh, visions about what freedom of mobility stands for, the collaborative spirit and the ability to listen to each other and try to figure out what was the best direction was really there. Uh, that makes me very optimistic about uh, tackling this, uh, this issue of freedom of mobility. So ability to collaborate, ability to listen to each other, ability to look for solutions all together. Well, there was one thing that really surprised me. In the debate about freedom of mobility, it was uh, quite uh, important to notice that some of the panelists were challenging the fact that we should protect individual freedom of mobility. That was for me a surprise. Well, the key takeaway is that um, it is really important that we get rid of any preconceived idea, that we get rid of dogmatism. I think that what we can learn from this debate to a certain extent from time to time a north-south debate is that we need to be pragmatic. Being uh, pragmatic and looking for collective solutions is the best way to go because it's, it's quite clear that uh, we have to protect freedom of mobility, uh, in some cases protect individual freedom of mobility. That's what is coming out of this discussion, but uh, overall a very good uh, active listening and a very good collaboration spirit. So I think it's a very good uh, first form of mobility that prepares for more, more discussion, more solutions and more pragmatism.